Dr. Schultz, I wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you for all you've done for me over the years. I think I've become a better clinician. I've learned a lot. Um, but you know what? I, I, I think a lot of staff here have learned a lot from you over the years. But you know, a lot of that staff couldn't be here tonight. So my suggestion is, why don't we schedule a luncheon back at the office, say, next week, in your honor, of course, and uh, you just give me the go-ahead on that. I'll take care of all the details. In all honesty, thank you again, and congratulations on 25 years. It's been my pleasure to work for Minnesota since uh, for 26 years now. I've had the um, experience of working with the physicians and finding out how much fun they are and how um, committed they are to their practice. I've also gotten to know Dr. Schultz very well, and I consider him a good friend, and, and I know how compassionate and caring he is with his patients, but also on the mission trips that we have gone on together. I've uh, been able to go with him on 40 mission trips, and I hope that we can continue to do many more. So it's been a wonderful pleasure to work with you, Paul. One other little note, though, that I'd like to say is that I'm in charge of Dr. Schultz's Black Book. And any of you ladies out there, if you're interested, um, you could call or email me, but um, just so you know, I'm really fussy. Uh, love you, Pablo. Dr. Smith, Brand, Smitty, Hawkeye, Grinder, a few of the pet names that we call you at the office. It has been my pleasure to work with you for the last 16 years. It's not everybody that can say that they look forward to going to work and uh, you are a top-notch physician and we have appreciated working for you all these years. I've had the pleasure of going to Guatemala with you Jim and uh, on a medical mission trip and also had the opportunity to go to the Stones concerts and I hope we can do that again. Their 50 year is coming up and for the rest of our bucket list we need to make it to the drive-in. It's been a wild ride. I am going to miss you. I want you to keep your posture up, your legs straight, and God bless you. I love you. Dr. Smith, I'll never forget when I first came here in my 20s. And the first time I heard you take call, and it was a bad hand injury. You hung up the phone, and you started to say some very strong words, some not so good words. and. I looked around and I was a little taken aback. The nurses weren't reacting to you, so I figured I was going to be okay. I later found out that that's just how you vented, and um, I learned that you never directed those words at any of us, just at the situations. And I know how you felt about people putting their hands in places like snowblowers, lawnmowers, electrical saws, wood splitters, or around an M80. I know you thought there were much better things they could do with their hands. So after 26 years of working with you, I feel very privileged to have worked with you and gotten to know you and enjoyed your sense of humor. I wish you all the best in your retirement, so congratulations, and may God bless you and Chris. Enjoy yourselves. You deserve it. Dr. Smith, I understand the rumors that you're going to retire are really true this time. And I just want you to know that I, Superwoman, wouldn't be half the woman I am if it weren't for you. I mean, you took me from a double A to a triple F. And that fat sucking you did for me, well, you're just the best fat sucker I know of. Now, that laser you recommended for my facial hair, that didn't work out quite so well. But just the same, Dr. Smith, I hope you'll come back to work now and then, because I'll need touch-ups down the road, you know. 